hopefully by now you are the owner of where is IMD spec pipes and uh, there's a few things you need to know before starting play always before starting play you cannot just uh, take them out and start play because uh, they have a natural lock single read it's very 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 needs lots of attention so at first you carefully like this remove the chamfer from from uh, the bag and this this is the reed it's uh, the heart and soul of uh, the backpack or the chamfer it's uh, from a cane it's very small very thin and it's uh, very gentle and be very very careful to not break because uh, the a chanter is tuned for this really same read and uh, it, it, it is possible to replace it and it will be need to be done at some point in the future but better but uh, let it happen some years before now important thing before you start to play uh, the read right now it's dry and here and uh, it doesn't sound because it's uh, too stiff and always before playing you need to moisten the reed the proper way uh, would be like uh, 10 minutes or something like that uh, just play 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 so that it absorbs uh, the moisture from your breath from uh, inside the bag and uh, but we, we don't have uh, any patience or uh, something like that so just you will probably do it as well Press it against your wet uh, tongue several times. Just like I'm showing you now. And and you see the difference uh, what it makes uh, for the sound uh, of, of the chanter. It uh, already starts uh, sounding like it's supposed to sound uh, because. Um, and the reed absorbs the moisture and it uh, becomes more flexible. It uh, wants uh, to make make the sound, wants to vibrate it. And uh, there could be another way to avoid this point, to make a reed even more thinner and uh, more flexible uh, to start with. But then it would be uh, in the process of playing, it would absorb even more, more moisture, and uh, just uh, later in the playing, it will stop to sound. So uh, I think uh, when I'm making the pipes, it's uh, better to leave it uh, more thick but uh, more stable for playing. Like this. And now, very, very, very carefully, you would place it. This part is moving, so you can tune a lowest note. That's a D. It's D. I think uh, the previous owner uh, tried to tune it for uh, I don't know what reason in a C, and, uh, but it's not supposed to be in that. It's uh, D major, by the way, and uh, the drone is also in uh, D. See what difference did uh, a little bit moisture of the reed make. This one is for tuning the lowest note, and the lowest note is the same as a keynote uh, with the drone. You can adjust the drone, also make it uh, lower by uh, take, they take, uh, making it longer. See, now, now it's 
at uh, the sounds too low and you can also make it higher uh, by making it shorter so the sound the sound pitch becomes higher <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's almost already in A. So, and uh, when you're playing, you just uh, first you, uh, you you're using a chromatic uh, tuner, just uh, tune the chanter, and then just adjust the drone uh, for, for, for the lowest note. Uh, just when you hear when it's uh, in a harmony, then, then it's good to go. Like this uh, inside yeah. uh, is a plastic reed uh, for, the, for the drone, and uh, I don't think you will need to ever touch it uh, because. But this part of tuning is enough. Now back, back to chanter. You can also tune the chanter by putting read in the fourth foot so you can start a little bit farther or by taking it very 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 quickly a little bit up farther out so if you take it out it makes uh, the fall pitch a little bit low lower if you push it in it makes a uh, pitch higher but uh, it uh, it, it, it will still be in a D major, but uh, just adjustment a little bit. You cannot uh, tune it in uh, the fall chanter in C or uh, in A. So, also, it's uh, for back pads, it's considered uh, to be normal to tune the sound falls separately. Uh, to do it, you'll need a small pocket knife with very sharp end or pointy and if you need to make a note uh, higher you just um, carve out a little bit of material always from uh, upside of uh, of, uh, of uh, the sound hole like uh, uh, never never uh, the lower part uh, just a little bit like uh, carving out one, one, one little piece of, and it will significantly make a sound of a great uh, note higher. If you need to lower the sound, you can uh, take a, a usual preferred black uh, thick duct tape and just cover the sound hole like a little bit, and then. Uh, or listen for a uh, for for, uh, for for your ear. Uh, if you're good enough, or uh, just like me, use a chromatic tuner to see the the note notes of of it. What else? You can also adjust uh, the read uh, using these uh, rubber parts, but I don't think you will need it. Uh, you will uh, do. The movement of the reed will be enough, and uh, if uh, you're not uh, playing with the band or some other musicians that have a uh, very strictly uh, uh, tuned instruments, uh, then uh, uh, you can uh, always go with the, how it was uh, done in medieval times. Just tune it in harmony, chanter and the drone. If it sounds pleasant, it's good. But uh, but, but uh, it, it doesn't mean you cannot tune it uh, precisely. It just uh, uh, needs some attention and work. And uh, the last thing, uh, when you are playing it, it's very important to remember that air goes from uh, the bag. You don't need to try to blow it directly from your mouth uh, to the chanter and uh, the drone. You just blow the air in the bag, it, and 
then you using your elbow you distribute the uh, air uh, in the uh, the times and uh, just uh, take for breathing uh, the chanter and the drone it's a uh, it's a very important thing for a proper piping to do and it takes some 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 uh, time to get used to uh, and also I remembered a really important thing the bagpipe chanters they hate and close the hole the when you're playing it is isn't necessary to press it hard like this it, uh, it, but you need to cover every tunnel properly because if uh, you will leave small gaps it will make terrible sounds I'll try to show you like uh, and uh, if uh, you don't notice that you haven't uh, closed some some holes you will not understand what, what what's happening you will uh, think that uh, the reed is uh, something wrong with the reed so it's very important uh, to cover the sound holes properly at close use the soft soft parts of your fingers to use them as a small fashions air type Uh, on the other side, uh, because some people simply don't know, and they're tr trying to play, and uh, they don't find that uh, the the problem that uh, the problem is uh, that they just haven't noticed one sound hole. So let's try to assemble it. Mm. There's uh, the low pipe. If something's wrong with the airflow, you should check if uh, this part hasn't moved off center. It's uh, it's uh, to not let uh, air from uh, from uh, the bag escape back. Thank <laughs> you.